The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication, podcast publishing made easy, Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Thrillers, thrilling mystery, espionage, and political intrigue? Step into the world of action and psychological twist. Join us as we go back to the early days of radio and our imaginations with our featured thriller presentation. January 16, 1967, a secret agent resigns from MI6, then wakes up to find himself imprisoned in The Village, a bizarre community with a cheery veneer, but an underbelly of mystery and threat. All occupants of the village have numbers instead of names, with our secret agent forced to accept the mantle of number six. The authorities running this village are intent on discovering why number six resigned, but it's a secret he steadfastly refuses to divulge. As the drama unfolds, the authorities, in the guise of the sinister number two, try ever more ingenious and aggressive means to bend number six to their will. All the while, number six is intent on two aims, to escape and to find out who is number one. From dispatch, 1800 hours standard European time, 16th January 1967. Agent codename ZM73 received emergency call from deep cover contact 062. Permission given for rendezvous at Mont Saint Jean, Belgium. Dover British Rail car ferry departure delayed until 2200 hours. Weather on Channel Crossing, Gale Force 8, heavy rain. Looks like our boy is going to get a thorough wetting. Surprised he didn't leave it until tomorrow. We are talking about him meeting 062, sir. Yes, I've <clears throat> heard the uh, rumours. Bit of an emotional thing. Should I be worried? About the emotional thing? Mm. No, no. They keep it uh, very professional. Of course they do. That ZM-73 through and through. Yes, wish we had more like him. There's only one ZM-73, Danvers. Indeed there is, sir. Indeed there is. Biscuit? Oh, thank you, sir. Not the custard cream. Of course not, sir. Evening, sir. That's your Lotus on the car deck, sir. Sir? What if it is? Well, it's just, sir, uh, she's the only car we got tonight. Nobody else wanted to brave it. To be honest, I'm surprised we sailed at all. I have friends in high places. Hey? Oh, <laughs> very funny, sir. Hilarious, aren't I? Nice bit of work she is, sir, Lotus. Thank you. And all well does she? Don't overdo it, Cobb. Well, anyway, <coughs> just to let you know, we're uh, just arriving now. Much obliged. Hey, uh, don't forget to drive on the wrong side of the road, sir. I won't. M73's ferry arrives at Calais, 34 minutes late. Well, that's going to make him a bit tense. I hope he doesn't break any speed limits and get himself into trouble. He should be disembarking now, sir. Thank you, Danvers. Pour me a whiskey, would you, old chap? There's a good fellow. Of course, sir. 
I do worry about him in that bloody Lotus. The Lotus 7S2, sir. He built it himself. Really? He's going to get himself killed one day, you know. <laughs> Should have crossed the border into Belgium by now. Do you think she'll be waiting for him? He won't break radio silence. Not the type. We'll know when he comes back. If he comes back. That serious, is it, sir? This Seltzman business? Oh, Danvers. It's always that serious. Uh, of course, sir. You took your time. Did you see the weather reports? Aren't you going to kiss me? You've never asked before. Are you all right? I wouldn't have sent the message if I... No, I know that. I meant... Well, never mind what I meant. <laughs> Found someone else? You are jumpy. Why well, arrange to meet here? Mont Saint-Jean. You tell me. No. You tell me. Okay. So you'd know it was me, of course. Of course. So, tell me. Seltzman. You have to come with me. Do I? Y you have to. I, I need... It's all right. Don't worry. All right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Now you stay here. I'll get the car. Uh, oh, okay. I, I love you. I won't be long. Wait. Okay. ZM-73. Verified. Barrier rising. half asleep, but that sounds like you, Danvers. No, I mean, ZM-73 has... Well, he... he... Danvers, 
If you've really phoned me at a 3.13 in the morning just to stammer at me, I have to tell you I shall seriously consider having you shot for treason. Please, resign. <laughs> Contact at BOAC tells us he's booked a flight to the Bahamas. Departure time, 1100 hours this morning. Has he been spotted? Not since he went back to his apartment. We have eyes on the apartment? Yes, sir. Who? Uh, who? Oh, uh, um, I'll, I'll have a look into that. You really are a bloody fellow sometimes, Danvers. Uh, in here, sir. Yes, I know where the bloody situation room is. Thank you. Control entering situation room. Look lively. Don't do that, Danvers. I'm not at all happy with you today. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Now, who have we got on the ground? Cobb, sir. God help us. His little helper. Here's zm 7 3s resignation letter, sir. Thank you. Good God. What does it say, sir? It says he's resigned, Danvers. What the hell do you think it says? Uh, yes, sir. And stop agreeing with me all the time. It's very disagreeable. You. Sir? Tell Cobb to enter ZM73's apartment. He's already tried knocking, sir. Oh, how imaginative. What happened? No reply. Contact him by RT. Tell him to break the door down. Are you serious, sir? My best agent has just resigned for no good reason. He's booked on a flight out of Heathrow at 11 o'clock this morning, and no one's seen him leave his apartment. Yes, I'm serious. Right. Bash it in. Security! Sorry about this, sir. Come out with your hands up, please. Search the place. Clear! Nothing in here! Clear! Not here? No. Code 65968. Situation room. It's Cobb. Is that Cobb? Give it to me. Well, Cobb. Uh, no, sir. He's, uh, he's gone. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Hello? Is your number six? I beg your pardon? Is your number six? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you may have got the wrong number. No wrong numbers here. What? Just checking for you. Checking what? Hello? Hello? H who are you? Are, are you there? Verified. Your number is six. Are you from the airport? Oh, damn, I've missed my flight. No flights here. What do you mean, no flights? Just putting you through. Putting me through to who? Sorry to mess you about, old chap. I completely understand. You must be totally disorientated. Who is this? No, you must forgive me, number six. I'm never very good at all this. What did you call me? Well, well, number six, of course. Why, of course. Who are you? Number two. What have you done to my phone? It's got no cord. There's a sort of screen. Ah, oh, it's the very latest thing, old chap. Tell you what, let's have a little chat over breakfast. Come and see me. What do you mean? Well, it isn't very far. It's the green dome. You can't miss it. It's green and dome-shaped. The green? Hello? 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 Mm. Now, you see, that's interesting. He's disorientated and a little tetchy, isn't he? But... He still hasn't thought about opening the blinds. Fascinating how the human brain takes so much for granted. Come on, old chap. You can put it together. Go on. Have a sneaky peek out of the window. Go on. You can do it. 
Hoo-hoo-hoo! There he goes! And yes, there it is, number six. Not those dreary office blocks you see every time you look out of your window, but your new home, the village! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> you know, in some ways, this is my favourite bit. Oh, what's the matter with you? Crack a smile, can't you, hmm? Oh, just go and get the breakfast ready. <clears throat> and make sure you get it right. Check the files. Next. Number six, hmm? What next? I don't, go for the door. Go on. Oh, I do love it when they go for the door. Here he goes. And there it is. Yes, the door's automatic, number six. Oh, dearie me, is everything so confusing? Poor Diddums. Observation suite. Observation suite, operations controller. Number six. He's up and about. Look lively. I want to see his every move, please. Right away, sir. We're tracking him now. Thanks ever so. Nothing like a bit of job satisfaction. It feels like Saturday night at the movies. <laughs> I've a good mind to order in some popcorn. So, what now, number six? Good morning. You all right? Why shouldn't I be? I don't know. It's just that you looked a bit... I don't know. Puzzled. This door. It opened and closed. By itself. Well, they all do that. All the doors? Yeah. All the doors here? In this place? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're new, aren't you? Where is this place? Where am I? In the village. The village. What village? What's it called? Well, just the village. Where's the nearest town? There isn't one. That doesn't make sense. Listen, mate, I've got to get on. Why? What are you doing? Where are you going? The village hall. You work there? Yeah. Look, there's an information point. Information a... point? Yeah, over there. That screen thing? Yeah, Vips. Uh, you can find out anything you need to know. Just touch the screen. Be seeing you. <laughs> you hurting... My arm! What if I don't let you go? What if I make you tell me everything I need to know? Hmm? Please. This is Operations Controller. We yes, yes, I know. He's being a little naughty. Should we take steps to pacify? Don't be so quick off the mark, Operations Controller. Nobody likes a goody two shoes. Let's give him a bit more leeway. I've got a gut feeling about this one. He may be a killer, but he's not a sociopath. Not yet, anyway. All right. You can go. Oh, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, there you see. All's well. First aid jitters, nothing more than that. He'll get the hang of it. He's just in a bit of a tiz, that's all. Shall I put that in the report, sir? A bit of a tiz? Don't phone me again unless you have something relevant to report. Thank you. So I have. Yes, you have. You... You can hear me? I can hear you. What? Is this a radio transceiver, or what? This is the Village Information Point screen, or VIPS for short. Oh, VIPS. Yes, VIPS. So you can hear me. Very clever. How have you got this thing rigged up? Where are you? Are you in one of these buildings? Are you nearby? Where can I find you? In answer to your question, I have not rigged anything up. I am a piece of interactive software. Inter... soft... what? Interactive software. I am here. No, I am not in one of the nearby buildings. You can find me at all village information point screens. Oh, for short. Touch the screen again, please. Why? Why not? <sighs> Thank you for touching me, number six. Why are you calling me that? Your identification has been verified. Not by me, it hasn't. You're mistaken. There are no mistakes. The screen shows a three-dimensional holographic map of your current position. 
three-dimensional. You're not kidding. How are you doing this? Where would you like to go? As far away from here as possible. Very well. Well, simple as that, is it? The taxi is on its way. Prepare for mobile surveillance. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I think we're about to make a little trip. This should prove educational. Taxi, sir. Désirez-vous un taxi, monsieur? Or désirez-vous aller? You have a familiar voice. So they tell me. You sound just like the voice on this... Vips. And on the phone. A strange phone in my... In that house over there. Number six's house. What? It says, on the sign, look, number six. So it does. Are you number six? No. Take me away from here. Where to? As far as you can go. Just keep driving. Will you do that? Hop in. Thank you. And put your foot down. Hold tight! Why did you speak to me in French back there? French is international. Why be international? Oh, we get people from all over the world here. Why? <laughs> Best ask them. French, Germans, Czechs, Poles, Russians. Russians? What are the Russians doing here? Best ask them. Sorry, I'm leaving today. Keep driving. People are starting to wake up. Colourful clothing? Is there a fancy dress party today? The streets will start to get crowded soon. Will anyone try to stop us? Why would they? This is the beach road. Beautiful beach, isn't it? When the tide's out, you can walk for miles on the sand. I shall miss it. See the stone boat down there? It's quite an attraction. Not for me. This is the village hall. Ah, uh, yes. I know someone who works there. Already? What do you mean by that? Well, you're new here, aren't you? How did you guess? Ah, my clothes. Too tasteful? I heard this was your first day. And my last. Why'd you say that, number six? Don't call me that. It's just the number of a house I woke up in. Where are we now? Those are the mountains. Beautiful, aren't they? Is everything beautiful here? And now, the village square. Wait a minute, didn't we... That'll be 23 units. 23 what? Credit units. Oh, never mind. Catch me next time. You brought me back to where we started. As far as I can go. That's what you asked for. Yes, that's what I asked for. Your... You're angry. Yes, I'm angry. Does that scare you? Uh, a little. Get out of the car. What do you mean? Get out of the car and let me drive. I, I can't. Why not? It's my job. I drive the taxi. And answer the phones. And lend your voice to that screen thing, the, the vips or whatever you call it. If, if I don't, don't get out of the car. Yes. What? If I don't get out, will, will you hurt me? What? Yes, I'm a dangerous man. I'll break your bloody arm, so get out of the car. Very well. You leave me no choice. Thanks. Where are the keys? There are no keys. Just just a starter button to the left of the wheel. See it? No, I see it. Thanks. What have you done to it? Nothing. I'm sorry. What are you sorry about, that I'm going to break your arm? I'm sorry that it won't work for you, and that you don't understand why. So, what's the trick? Does the button respond to your fingerprint or something? Is that how it works? It responds to my DNA. Your what? I said you wouldn't understand. Yes, you did. Maybe I should just break your arm anyway. I suppose that's your choice. Here, have your taxi back. Thank you, number six. Don't. 
Uh, look, I, I got a call from someone calling himself Number Two. Oh, but you know, don't you? You were on the phone too. Oh, don't tell me it wasn't you. It was just a, an intersoft... What's it? Like that screen. Are you asking me or telling me? He said he was in the Green Dome. Where's that? Oh, you can't miss it. Ah, so he said. Green and dome-shaped, right? Up there on the hill. Ah, yes. Are you going to see him now? It's just a short walk. He can wait. Well, thanks for not breaking my arm. You're welcome. Be seeing you. <laughs> he really is the limit, isn't he? I do love all this macho stuff. I'm a dangerous man. I'll break your bloody arm. <laughs> it's just like James Bond or something. Now what? Hmm. Breakfast will be getting cold, you know, old chap. Beautiful day. Bit chilly. It's early. It'll warm up. Will it? Tell me, is it always a beautiful day here? If you'd like breakfast, I'm afraid the kitchen isn't open yet. But I can make you a coffee. And will that be beautiful too? Next to the beautiful mountains and the beautiful beach? I... I'll get your coffee. Please, take a seat. I don't want your beautiful coffee. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? You want to tie my arms back and feed it to me with a rubber hose? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Be seeing you. Be seeing me? Well, you never know, do you? Have a beautiful day, won't you? A bloody beautiful bloody day! Temper, temper number six. Keep a hold of yourself. Ah, where to now? Oh, the village shop. <laughs> no, no, isn't that nice? A pogorara palaleva, escaporara epigrana, saltorira opa igaric e potetira, fossalara opa cadera, opa hidare, zara billy. And perhaps you'd like to help yourself to the pineapples over there, madam. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> This one, I think. Oh, that's a beautiful one, madam. There we are. Thank you. Uh, online billing? Yes, thank you. Not a problem. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. Sorry to keep you, sir. Can I help you? Beautiful day. Um, yes. Yes, I believe it is. Oh, you believe that, do you? I beg your pardon, sir? What's online billing? I'm sorry? You said it. Online billing to that woman. That's right, sir. How can I help you? Got any maps? Maps? Have you tried the VIPs, sir? They're very helpful. Yes, but I want a map. A good old-fashioned map. Have you got a map? Have you? Or am I wasting my time? <clears throat> oh, I think we've probably got a map, yes. Let me see. A map of this area? Oh, of course, sir. Yes. Colour or black and white? Either. Colour is much more expensive, sir. Well, let's push the boat out, shall we? Full Technicolor. Here we are, sir. That'll be 16 credits. Online billing. Of course, sir. What's your number? Don't you know? No, sir. You're not wearing a badge. Is that a crime here? Uh, well, <laughs> it's just helpful if I could... This is no good. It's just a map of your... Village. That's right, sir. That's what you asked for. Oh, did I? Did I indeed? Well, perhaps you'd like to get me a map of the whole country. Which country, sir? The country we are in. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Don't you know which country we're in? That's the only map we have, I'm afraid. Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? Apparently not. Well, then, I look forward to the pleasure of your custom. I wouldn't count on it. Be seeing you. That's what you think. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You again. And it's another beautiful day. My first and last here. Ooh, that's fighting talk number six. Ah, now then, I do believe you're accepting my breakfast invitation. Well done, there's a good chap. Ah, there he is. Let him enter.
I'm here to see number two. Well? Is that you? <clears throat> Obviously not. Don't say much, do you? Good morning, my dear fellow. Don't mind my diminutive butler. He's a law unto himself. Do come in. Breakfast is waiting. Ah, <laughs> there you are at last. What do you think of my office? Like the inside of a giant washing machine. <laughs> Yeah, very, very good. I mean, it's the latest thing, you know. Stark futurism, they call it, I believe. Are we locked in? My dear fellow, don't be so suspicious. Then I can leave. Oblige me with a little chat first. Who are you? We spoke on the phone. The question still stands. I'm number two. That's not a name. No names here, my dear fellow, just numbers. For example, you are number six. Where is this place? Hmm? At the Green Dome. Oh, won't you sit down and have some breakfast? Oh, come on now. You must be starving after your long journey. How long a journey? By car? Train? Aeroplane? The Queen Mary? Where am I? In the village. Now, I think this will be to your liking. We've been very careful to do it all exactly the way you like it. How many eggs with your bacon? Two... Hey, presto, we got it right. Now, tea or coffee? Tea. Just as we thought. Indian or China? Either. Milk or lemon? Lemon. Where is this village of yours? Well, you've seen it, haven't you? Out there. And by all indications, you've had a jolly good tour of it, too. Where in the world is it? I would ask you to be careful. This is the very best country in China, you know. Then if you don't want me to start smashing it up, you'd better answer my question. Well, how about you answering mine first? So, this is where the interrogation starts, is it? Interrogation? You are melodramatic, aren't you? No, no, no. Just a little chat over breakfast. Just to clear up a few things. Now, do sit down, old boy. What do you expect me to sit on? Aha! Now, you're like this. Seats that come out of the floor. It's amazing, isn't it? It's the latest thing, you know. So you keep saying... Is it electrified? Oh, do be serious, number six. I'm not a number, I'm a person. Of course you are, of course you are. Aren't we all? Well, I suppose I can't force you to sit, but do help yourself to toast if you get peckish. Now, there are just a few things I want to get cleared up, and then you can be on your way. On my way where? Home? Weren't you intending to go to the Bahamas? Is that where this place is? <laughs> Does it look like the Bahamas? It doesn't look like... Anywhere. What makes you think I was going to the Bahamas? Well, you were, weren't you? If you know everything, why do you need to ask me any questions? Just a few outstanding details we need to fill in. Really? Perhaps you'd like to tell me what you do know. Oh, very well. Look at the screen. Screen? That wall. The whole wall? Impressive, isn't it? It's the la latest thing. You've got your own cinema. Big deal. Now then, number six. File open. What's that? A tablet. You're going to swallow it? Oh, very amusing, number six. Very amusing. No, it transmits to the screen. There. What are you doing? Recognize him? That... That's me. But how did you... Scrolling on. Childhood during the war. Down into the tube stations for safety, eh? Ah, the bulldog spirit, Alcyon days. What a shrapnel collection you had in that little tin box. What's going on here? How did you get that footage? It looks... Yes? Like it was shot yesterday. Like that fellow you saw going over the Berlin Wall. Help! What? Ha 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 ha! Shot yesterday! That wasn't yesterday, that was... Ah, but doesn't it feel like yesterday? How are you getting all this stuff? Let's bring you up to date. So, tell me. Seltzman. You have to come with me. Do I? Where was the camera? Where isn't there a camera these days, hmm? 
What? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Y you have to. I, I need... It's all right. Don't worry. All right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Well, you stay here. I'll get the car. And then off he went and left her, poor Janet. I thought you said no names. Ah, oh, but she isn't in the village. Well, not yet, anyway. What do you mean by that? What do you want from me? I told you. Information. You have all the information you need. I'm leaving. Open it. It's a question of your resignation. Open the door. The information in your head is priceless. Open it! I don't think you realize what a valuable property you've become, number six. A man like you would be in great demand on the open market. Who brought me here? Yes. I know exactly how you feel. Frankly, I sympathize with you. They've taken one hell of a liberty. They? But you see, you can't avoid the fact that a lot of people are bound to be curious about what lies behind your resignation. What people? When a man knows as much as you do... I don't know who you are. I don't know who you work for. And I don't care. Open that door or I'll break it down. I'd like to see you try. Give me that tablet thing. Manners, my dear fellow. You had only but to ask. How the hell does this thing work? Tell me where you got this stuff. It's quite the latest thing, number six. Rather beyond me, I'm afraid. How do you turn it off? How the hell do you turn it off? Allow me! That button! There. Now, there's no need for all this nonsense. All we want to know is why you resigned. You have all you need to know on this damn thing. Name, date of birth, address, <laughs> even my resignation letter. It's the whole picture. Oh, but there is just one important thing you've left out. Is there really? Yes. Would you like to know what it is? By all means, number six. 4.31. 4.31? A.M. A.M.? 4.31 A.M. on the 19th of March, 1928. The time of my birth. Oh, well, that's splendid. Now, if we can just... I've nothing else to say. Is that clear? Nothing. It's only a matter of time. Sooner or later... You'll tell me, sooner or later, you'll want to. I doubt it. Let's make a deal. You cooperate, tell us what we want to know, and this can be a very nice place. You may even be given a position of authority. So, not home or the Bahamas anymore, then? Oh, you never know your luck. I'm not making any deals with you. I've resigned. I'm not going to be pushed, filed, indexed, stamped, briefed, debriefed, or numbered. My life is my own. Is it really now? You won't hold me here. Won't we? <laughs> Let me prove to you that we will. Come on. I'll show you. We can take this resignation business up later. No rush. After you. So where are you taking me? I'd like to put everything in perspective for you, number six. What the hell's that thing? It's a helicopter, dear boy. It's not like any helicopter I've ever seen. Oh, it's the latest thing. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? First class, dear boy. Do step in. Are you sure your butler's a qualified pilot? No, oh, it virtually flies itself, you know. Step in. Step in. It's insulated for sound. It's a lovely view from up here, isn't it? It's a beautiful place, really. So I keep hearing. In many ways, it's like a world on its own. Yes. I shall miss it when I'm gone. Oh, it'll grow on you. We have everything here. 
Everything except personal freedom. The freedom to leave. All the amenities, the very latest technology, and much more. Everything's interconnected. There's a screen in every home. A television. What's so special about a television? Through it, you can access all kinds of entertainment. Just touch the screen. Buy what you like with your work credits. Work? I won't work for you. What sort of work were you expecting me to do? Nothing too demanding. Behaving yourself, cooperating. Then I'm afraid you'll have to fire me. Or starve me to death. <laughs> I'm sure we can offer you a temporary loan. Oh, now, there's the village hall. Administrative centre. We have our own democratically elected council. Of course you do. It's also a place for meetings, amateur dramatics, or that sort of thing. Fascinating. Yes, it is. Now, oh, there's the restaurant. Oh, and uh, we have our very own newspaper. You must send me a copy when I'm gone. <laughs> you really will be the death of me, number six. That's the graveyard down there. Is that a threat? But you'll be more interested in our little social club, I should think. But I could probably get you membership. It's very exclusive, but you have a certain... cachet. You're too kind. And, if you have any problems, there's our Citizens Advice Bureau. They do a marvellous job. Everybody's very nice. Nice people in your beautiful village, packed with all the latest things. I get the picture. Thank you so much, number two. You might even meet people you know. Who's that? Hmm? Down there. Someone running. Oh, dear. Now this could get messy. Down we go, please. Down. Again, do not run! Oh dear, he clearly isn't going to take any notice. Is there a way out? No, but we can't let such defiance go unpunished. What had you in mind? Cat and nine tails? Public flogging? Mm. Well, I'll try good old-fashioned reasoning just one more time. Increase speed, catch him up and hover in front of him. Ah, oh, there he is. Wait a minute. Stop! Stay where you are! Do not run! I know that man! Do you? How charming. Uh, want a word with him on the loudspeaker? Oh, too late. Off he goes. Oh, well. Number two to operations controller, orange alert. Right. Uh, let's gain some height again, please. Orange alert? What's that? What are you going to do to him? You'll see. Look over to the sea. Orange alert. Orange alert. Rover now servicing. Identity locked. is that thing? That will be telling. It's moving so fast. Yes. I'm afraid your friend Cobb won't stand a chance. Take us down. I beg your pardon. Take this thing down now! Cobb! Cobb, it's me! Stop running, man! Stop running! You don't stand a chance! No! They can't keep me here! No! No! I'll get it out! They can't! No! 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 no. What the hell's that bull thing doing to him? It's smothering him. Will it kill him? Well, perhaps it will. Perhaps it won't. It's all in the hands of the higher power now. Who? Oh, number one. <laughs> That's very good, number six. I am not a number. I'm a free man. Oh, now.
Now don't go off in such a huff, old chap. Number six, please. What are you doing here? I thought this was supposed to be my house. Oh, I was just tidying up. I thought you were a waitress, weren't you? Not a housemaid. I, I take whatever work I can get. Well, you can get out. Why are you so angry? Why am I so angry? Because I've just seen a good friend of mine get crushed by a giant bright white beach ball that screamed like the devil and hurt my bloody eyes just to look at it. That's why. Ah. Ah. Is that all you've got to say? What would you like me to say? Does that sort of thing happen here every day? Not every day, no. Then how often? Uh, perhaps you'd like me to show you around your house. I know my way around. It looks just like my apartment in London. Only this bit. Shall I show you behind these walls? Behind? What? Bathroom, kitchen, bedroom. Fully modern, full of all the latest... Space-age plastic and metal crap. Thanks. Now get out. You... You don't want to talk? What are you, a shrink? No. Just a friend. If you'll let me. What do you want from me? Shall I pour us a drink? You pour yourself a drink. It's probably drugged. I said I didn't want a drink. I know. You know there is no way out of here, don't you? No. Do you? How long have you been here? Too long. Does no one ever give a straight answer around here? Not often, no. But maybe if... Well... Well what? Maybe if you give some straight answers. Some straight answers. Oh, she's good. She's very good. Come on, number nine. Let's see what you're made of. You're scared. Am I? You're trying to look confident, even kind, but you're scared. Behind your eyes. I've seen it before. Where? What? You expect me to give you my confession just because you're a pretty face offering me a cosy drink? I'll take the compliment. And you can take your drink. <laughs> and if you won't get out, I will. No, don't go, please. Give me one good reason to stay. Why? I thought we could be friends. I thought if you could just tell me, share with me. And you think I don't know that they're watching, that number two isn't sitting in his oversized washing machine drum, peering at us with his beady little eyes? How's he doing, number two? Hey! Not very well. Please, for God's sake, please, number six, just tell me something. Anything. Otherwise, they'll... Hurt you? Torture you? Kill you? Bounce a glowing ball on your pretty little head? Why should I care? Be seeing you. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Oh, now then, where's he off to in such a hurry? Oh, dear. Um... Observation suite. You want to stop him? I think he's a little overwrought, making a fruitless dash for it, silly boy. Yes, I think it's best. My, my. Rover's getting a second outing today, isn't she? Orange alert! Ah, there he goes. Into the woods, heading for the mountain, such a determined fellow. Nimble on his feet, too. But not nimble enough. I love you. 
चाहने हैं Janet. So, what are we toasting? Us. Hmm. To us. I'm not sure Control would approve. You think he doesn't know? You mean one of his grubby little men is here watching us now? If Cobb were here, we'd be able to smell him. <laughs> yes, he's the grubbiest of them all, isn't he? I know I shouldn't ask. But you're going to. Seltzman. You mustn't ask. What can you? Mm. So tell me, Seltzman. You have to come with me. Do I? Break down his sense of reality. Once he begins to doubt his own identity, what do you think of the idea? It has distinct possibilities. Oh, your mind is the key. Right. What's happening? What is this? What are you? I am not a number. I am a free man. 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 I am a free Feeling better? No. What happened? Where? You had a bit of a fall. I wasn't. How long have I been here? But you're all right now. Am I now? What are my clothes? You can't wear clothes in bed. Pajamas are to be worn at all times in the village infirmary. Village infirmary. Village. 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 It's you again, isn't it? The taxi driver. No, 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 no. You mustn't strain yourself. Just stay in bed. You said I was all right. Or well, is that just what you say when people aren't dead here? Try to relax and get some rest. Don't forget to bolt and bar the door on the way out, because it's the only way you'll keep me here. I'll go and fetch the doctor. Oh. Oh. Who's that? Cobb. Uh, Cobb! What? What? So they didn't kill you. That ball thing didn't kill you. What was it, you know? Ball thing? What? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. It sounds crazy. This huge glowing ball of light. I saw it get you. I, it got me too, but I, I, I don't know. Something strange happened. I, I heard voices. I, I thought I was back. Back. Oh, oh, I don't remember. Just a blinding light and... So, they got you too, eh? How long have you been here, Cobb? No. Cobb, listen to me, man. What are you doing here? I don't know. I was in... I think I was in a hotel. I got an assignment. I went to the hotel. When I, when I woke up, I was here. In, in this village place. When did you get here? I, I don't know. I think they, they drugged me. So many questions. They want to know everything. What sort of questions? Listen, I won't tell them. I mustn't tell. You, you can count on me. I, I, I won't let you down, sir. I, 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 won't, I, won't let, let, I won't let you down. Cobb, listen to me. Listen. We've got to get out of here. Yes. Get out of here. Yes. We must or they'll kill us. Or worse. Worse? Keep us here for the rest of our lives. Brainwash us. But, but listen, listen, I, I had a plan. A plan? What plan? Uh, a plan to get out of here? Yes. yes. Oh, uh, there's a woman. She, uh, she... Uh, what woman? Who? Tell me. Cobb? Cobb! Frustrating, isn't it? When people won't answer your questions. What have you done to him? <laughs> oh, we'll look after him, don't worry. Come with me. Why should I? Well, why not live a little? I'm waiting for a doctor's appointment. Oh, I'm fully qualified. There are some slippers under your bed. Come along, old fellow. It's for your own good. There's a good boy. 
Where are you taking me? Just to get a few things sorted out. Like what? What's that noise? Hmm? Oh, that! Have a look through here. What are you doing to them? Doing to them? It's group therapy. It's for their own good. The straitjackets and the gags? Just a precaution. The purple lighting has a calming effect. The whole process counteracts the obsessional guilt complexes which produce neuroses. Does it? Is that what you're going to do with me? Oh, come now, number six. We don't want that, do we? Do you? In here, please. Do sit down. What if I don't? What if you do? It's for your own good. And why should I believe you? Well, because there might have been some unpleasant after-effects of your little encounter with Rover. Rover? Is that what you call that oversized glowing ball thing? Rather an endearing nickname, don't you think? I mean, for a guard dog. That thing's no guard dog. What exactly is Rover? Ah, oh, that would be telling. So you said. How does it work? I've no idea, dear boy. Not my department. I leave that to all the boffins. And how do the boffins create those hallucinations? You think Rover made you hallucinate? Do tell me more. Interesting. I can see she upset you. She? Rover. Who do you think I meant? How can that thing be a she? Oh, well, it's just a term of endearment. Oh, do sit down. Look, I can get some rather muscular chaps to come in here and force you to sit down if you like. Would you prefer that? That would be telling. Thank you, number six. Most kind. Now, relax. Ah! Oh! What the hell was that? Yes, yes, yes. All your readings are optimal. Well done. You're healthy enough to be discharged. What's that? It's your welcome pack. You're welcome to it. It's your health card, your employment card, your card of identity. I know my own identity. If you say so. Your welfare card, your credit card, and your... Oh! <laughs> your new shoes and clothes. What happened to my old shoes and clothes? They've been burnt. Why? Don't be tiresome, old chap. I'll take you back to the ward so you can get dressed and leave. And then what? And then we begin in earnest. Oh, dear. What the hell's that about? Hello? Two here? What's going on? Oh, what a pity. Ah, oh, well. And do shut that racket off, will you? Thank you. Well? Mm, well, I'm afraid something rather unfortunate has happened. More unfortunate than my being kidnapped and imprisoned in a madhouse? Depends on your viewpoint, really. Your friend Cobb. What makes you think he's my friend? Colleague, then. He's dead. What? Yes. I'm afraid he's just jumped out of the window and killed himself. Rather unfortunate. <laughs> You! Uh, violence is, is really inadvisable. Oh, perhaps you'd like to let me go. R remember, the muscular men can be called at any moment. I could kill you before they got here. But don't you want your freedom? At what price? I think you know the price. I'll never pay it. I think you will. What makes you so sure? Because it's either that or you stay here for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, thank you. Most kind. That is another option. Oh, really? And what was that? I escaped. Ah, <laughs> and that's your plan? Not quite. Really? Do tell. Escape. Come back. Come back. And wipe this place off the face of the earth. <laughs> Fascinating. But in the meantime, I want to see the body. I beg your pardon? Cobb's body. Oh, how morbid you are. Why? A closure? Because I don't believe a single word you say. Very well. Follow me. Ah, oh, yes. There he is, poor fellow. Bit of a long way down, isn't it? Rather a mess. Did you know him well? You did this to him. My dear fellow, don't be ridiculous. 
I was with you the whole time. Don't be obtuse. You know what I mean. You, you people. The people who run this place, whatever it is. You, you interrogated him, drugged him, hounded him, tortured him. You drove him to this. Well, it's certainly an interesting theory. I will, of course, enter it in my report. Now, how was it? We interrogated, drowned, hounded, tortured, drove him to... And who exactly do you report to, number two? Number one? Where is he? I want to speak to him. Take me to oh, where... It... you have to join a very long queue for that, number six. No, I'm afraid the only satisfaction you're going to get here is through cooperation. For example... Subject shows great enthusiasm for his work. He's utterly devoted and loyal. Is this a man who suddenly walks out? I didn't walk out, I resigned. People change, exactly. So do loyalties. What about yours? I know nothing about you. You know everything you need to know. Stop deflecting. It's time you gave us the facts we need. And if I don't? We'll take them. Good luck trying. <laughs> really going to walk out here in your pyjamas. Why not? It's a madhouse, isn't it? Record memo. Report on number six. On arrival, subject showed usual shock symptoms, followed by predicted behaviour pattern. Since then, has been uncooperative and distinctly aggressive. Attempted to escape. Subject proving exceptionally difficult, but in view of his importance, no extreme measures to be used. Yet be seeing you. He's leaving the infirmary. Follow his every move. Activate all monitoring. No privacy whatsoever. I know you're watching. I'll wear your damn uniform because I have to, but you'll never get me to wear your damn badge. Damn music, where's it coming from? If I could see a speaker, I'd smash it to pieces! I know you're listening. I know you're watching. So where's everyone gone? Come on, come on. What are you playing at, number two? Hello again. What are you doing here? Leave me alone. Did you know Cobb? No. And why are you crying? Is it one of your special skills? I don't have to take this from you, number six. Don't call me that. <coughs> Let me go. Not until you tell me your connection with Cobb. Oh, you're hurting me! That's right. You like hurting women? I just want information. Oh, you're breaking my arm! No, I'm not, but I will do if you don't tell me what I want to know. All right, all right! Oh. You're as bad as them. Whoever they are. Tell me about Cobb. Had you known him long? Not long. And yet here you are, weeping at his funeral. 
He... He was a good man. Where did you meet him? How can I trust you? How can I trust you? You're wearing their uniform now? Only because they incinerated my clothes. But I won't wear that badge of theirs. Number nine. What's your real name? What's yours? You see? We're both scared to talk. Look, we can't talk here, we'll get soaked. And besides, they'll see us on the way back. Where then? And when? Twelve o'clock, at the bandstand. It's a date. Well now, this is going to prove a challenge for our sound boys. Zoom in, please. Immediately, number two. Zooming in. Ah, yes, there she is. All of a flutter, waiting for her newfound bow. Little beads of sweat on her tender upper lip. And there he is. Oh, no flowers. Are we getting any sound on them yet? Isolate the frequency. Weather seems to have cleared up. I thought the ring was Anyone sitting there? Be my guest. I thought I'd been stood up. We have to be quick. How romantic. Is this just a game for you? And for you? Dressing up, a waitress, a maid, now what? A damsel in distress with a vital piece of information on a mission sanctioned by number two himself. Look, you can think what you like. I knew Cobb would crack sooner or later. I could see it in his eyes. I wanted to help him get out of here before... And I suppose you know a way, do you? This was a mistake. I shouldn't have bothered. And what do you see in my eyes? Number nine? Tell me. Tell me your Dark. I And leave it to me to decide. The truth is only thinking it trap. <laughs> well, I've no idea what they're talking about, but it seems to be getting very intense. I'm sorry about this man. Isolate their frequencies now! All right. I work in dispatch at the village hall. Fascinating. Do go on. I managed to get hold of an electropath. All right. I'll bite. What's an electropath? It looks like a watch, but it's got a signaling device built into it. Preposterous. Who does it signal? There's a skimmer copter leaving at exactly two o'clock this afternoon. Do you think you could fly it? Well, I can fly a proper helicopter, so one of those overgrown toys should be child's play. Where... There's a stone boat down by the beach. Yes, I caught sight of it on my guided tour. It's just by the old folks' home. People really grow old here. Yeah? Wait by the stone boat. The skimmers land close by. You'll see. But how does this electro The skimmer from... will be guarded by Rover. Ah. The electropath gets you past Rover. How? It emits a signal that tells Rover you have permission to travel. All very clever. And when is this wonder pass? Well? Are you testing me? Are you working for them? Are you? Well? One of us has to make a leap of faith. And get themselves killed. Sometimes I think it would be better to be dead. Dear me. Perhaps you need some group therapy, number nine. In a straitjacket. There is no time for this. I'm wearing the pass on my right wrist. The strap is loose. If you embrace me, you should be able to slip it off without their noticing. You operate it by pressing the button on the side. Well? Oh, just kiss me for God's sake, it may already be too late. Too late for what? The sound of the band will be masking our voices from their microphones. The cymbal clashes play havoc with their frequency filters, but... Impressive. You have it all worked out, don't you? Well, are you going to... <laughs> Satisfied. Are you? That was very forward of you, number six. I'm sorry, when can we meet again? I think perhaps it is best if we don't. Goodbye. I'll be seeing you. And where are you off to in such a hurry? What? Oh, sorry. I haven't had time to introduce myself. I'm the new number two. So I see. What happened to the old one? Things change. People move on. What did he do? Escape? 
What makes you say that? Do you have escape on your mind, number nine? No. No, of course not. What about number six? What about him? What do you mean? You seem a little jumpy. Not at all. I'm, um... Experiencing the first flush of a burgeoning romance. Oh. You saw him kiss me? News travels fast in a village hungry for gossip, but isn't that always the way? Well, it was unwelcome. There's nothing between us. I see. You mean number six behaved inappropriately? Ah... Uh. Yes. Would you like me to have action taken against him? What? No. N no. No. It's f it's fine. We don't want any unhappiness in our beautiful village. And if Number Six behaved aggressively towards you, no, no, not not aggressive. It was a misunderstanding. Well, if you're sure, Number Nine, you are sure. Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Thank you for your concern. If you should reconsider my door is always open. Thank you. Thank you, number two. Be see Pity about Cobb. What? Ah, oh, yes. Still not your fault. No blot on your record. Just one of those things. What? I... Be seeing you. Um, yes. Be seeing you. Come along, old man. We haven't got all day. I thought you said you could play chess. Yes. Sorry, uh, my mind's not on the game. I should say not. Dithering about. If you were an officer on my ship, I'd soon make sure you were not in the shape. Which ship? Ah, oh, uh, <coughs> Which navy? Well, uh, Oh, checkmate! <coughs> what? Oh. Don't worry. I'll give you another chance. Uh, uh, no, no. It's okay. I'm not on form today. I think I'll take a little stroll. Maybe you should try the old stone boat down there. Hmm? Why? Got a rather charming sea captain aboard her by the looks of it. Really? Ah. She's been watching you. Has she now? Do excuse me. <laughs> oh, voyage. What? Have a good trip. What do you mean? On the old stone boat. <laughs> She's great in any weather. Sailed her many a time. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I see. I'll be seeing you. I didn't expect to see you here. Didn't you? Come to make sure I take the bait. What do you mean by that? I followed you after the bandstand. So? At first, I thought you were just chatting to a fellow inmate. Then I saw her badge. Another number two. How many are there? They change over from time to time. A new one gets assigned. And are you assigned to me like you were to Cobb? You don't know what it's like here. When they ask you to do something, you don't have a choice. There's always a choice. No, there isn't. You'll find out. So, the Electro Pass, the helicopter, what is it, a trap? Am I just going to end up dead after allegedly jumping out of a hospital window? No, I told you I was trying to get Cobb out, but they were watching him. And they're not watching me. He missed his chance, but you have a chance. No! For God's sake, it's nearly two o'clock. The pilot is still in the cafe. If you don't get to the skimmer now before she comes back... Uh, get go of me! You're coming with me. No! Why? I can't! Why not? What am I supposed to believe? That you're some kind of saintly courier smuggling our valiant chaps over enemy lines? I don't care what you believe. I can't go back. I can never go back. Why not? Some of us never can. Why not? What's that supposed to even mean? Just take your chance. Take it, please. It's the only one you'll get. Go! Go now! <sighs> All right. Two here. Something interesting. By the stone boat. Number? Six. And nine. Oh, really? What a surprise. Put it on my screen. He's heading for...
than a skimmer copter. So he is. Where's number nine? Close by, watching, following. Hmm. It must be love, despite her protestations. <laughs> and that's going to prove useful to us. He's definitely going for the copter. And Rover will move to stop him. And you can stay where you are. It's confirmed. It's an electropath. He's got an electropath. Well, well, well. No. Get back. Back. you go. Thank you. Much obliged to you. The electropath signal has definitely deflected Rover. Should I counteract... No. Send Rover to number nine. Uh, uh, Do it! <gasps> no. Please, no. Not me. I'm... No. Please. <sighs> Leave her alone. Get away from her. No! Don't miss your chance, number six. Go, go, no! Are you crazy? That thing's going... Let it take me. What? Let it, if my time's come. Let it. Your time? What the hell are you talking about? Go, number six, go! He's definitely going for the skimmer copter now. Take it easy. Don't panic. Have Rover bring number nine in. If she survives. I hope you know what you're doing. What you want? If it's my time. <laughs> this place is a madhouse. A bloody nightmare. You haven't seen the last of me. I'll be back to wipe this place off the face of the earth. Dear me, he is cross, isn't he? Do you think he knows we're monitoring him? Is he talking to us? No, I don't think so. He thinks he's just lost the one person who might have been his friend here, that's all. He's just cracking up a bit. That and the elation of escape. Shall we bring the skimmer down now? No. What? But... Have number nine brought to me and... But he'll be out of range any Shush minute. now. Get yourself so hit up. And there he goes. Freedom. Oh, 